All right, I'm going to just do a brief introduction about um, the home page and how you go and modify it. In this video, I'm, I'm showing the Onyx theme. Uh, really, the, the biggest change for the, the, the current version of the framework is that we no longer have a home page template. And so what we are doing now is we are creating um, dynamic uh, layouts that you can apply and we have gone and created what's now called a primary layout. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to go head over to the layout editor. Where do we go here? Right there. And we're going to see that there's a primary layout. Now this layout, we've gone and configured it so that it's got a bunch of regions already in it. Um, and we'll just go and click edit and we'll see that this is what we've got is we've got the slider region widget and we've got the uh, the logo and the custom menu which appears just below the slider and then below that we've got uh, you know our, our content region so we've got a spacer an HTML box widget um, a sidebar here another spacer another sidebar uh, it looks to be just a widget another widget and so on and so forth. And now if you've gone through some of the other tutorials about working with the layout editor, this will um, seem familiar to you. And you can uh, disable a lot of these um, items if you don't want them or if you want to go in and modify them. I mean, you've probably seen how to do that already. But this video is really to show you um, where you go to make those changes. Whereas before it used to be on a page by page basis, we now have this master layout that you can then use. So for example, now if we go to the uh, home page here, which is the front page is listed there. Um, you're going to see that we've got the primary page listed as selected. We've got the page type set as default because that makes sense because we just want just regular content for our content widget. We don't want to display any blog or anything like that. Um, but then we've got uh, the layout down here. Now we're still going to have the content region um, as we've uh, we've you know you know like welcome to our website and that's. Going to show up just down in uh, in this region here, but we also uh, you know have the ability to sort of override some of these features here. Um, if we want to use a different menu, if we wanted to, um, if we're using a preset region such as we see here, um, again we've got a, a content region widget, a focal box widget which we could you know specify, um, and. Uh, it looks like this one I haven't actually even gotten enabled here, so we're just going to do uh, that there. Hit update. Um, so that's how you make the changes: is that you can go and um, manage it on a um, on the global level, or you can then tweak some of the features here on the page by page basis. You can't go and modify the layout of the page, but you can modify some of the features of each of the, the, the different widgets here. And so if you want to change, you know, which widgets show up in this different area, you can either go to the home for sidebar, which is uh, from the appearance and then widgets control panel, or you can go back to the layout editor, which is over here, and choose a different sidebar or uh, remove the sidebars and again you can you know do you know remove them by turning them off um, or you know you can choose a different sidebar to place in that region or if you just want a preset region again you know we've gone through this in previous videos but we've got you know presets available here sidebar creating a new sidebar um, row or uh, inserting an individual widget in a row or and again dividers here so um, that's pretty much the the crash course for the home page. Uh, it's set up here for you. Uh, usually, uh, depending upon the theme, it will be set up with the slider in a particular format, how you want to use it. Uh, if you find that uh, the slider that um, that is included with the theme is not quite the one that you want to end up using, because we do include a number of other sliders, you may go away from using the primary layout. Um, because a lot of the sliders won't work in being up here. They, it might be better for them to be just below the menu, um, sort of in the header region. And again, that's going to be up to you. You can go and you know um, try inserting whatever um, you know preset or sidebar or whatever you want to do there. Um, but we've gone and configured it uh, so it uh, operates just like our online demo. Um, yeah, and so there you go.